But this structure is basically reported for these farm runs by a long time ago. Well, but from this point, I started the different way to create this material because once you see this practice, the material is so complicated. There must be some other way to produce because the, as far as you the uh, dry up or standard or traditional way to produce mixed oxide, you never get the, such a uh, high demand of crystals. But I, I, I like to hope you that uh, these kind of structure material can be produced using the hydrothermal synthesis that I will told you later soon. And yeah, by using this method, you can also create a different type of uh, structure material. So these materials are mainly uh, based on the octahedral coordination. There are many co uh, chemistry based on the octahedral coordination chemistry. In, a, in zero right, the, uh, the coordination chemistry is the tetrahedral, but here it's an octahedral. That's a different thing, which is very important. And uh, I use this catalyst for chlorine oxidation because this is very important in the test of the And um, these are uh, just a typical standard uh, uh, catalyst deposit so far for the chlorine oxidation. It gives a very high performance for yielding acrylic acid, but uh, the catalyst we made by using it, uh, uh, our methods gives a very, very good activity and cell activity. It's, as you can see here, the external temperatures were less than 200. Going to be active for any of the, uh, better than any of the types of chemistry for this so far. But this is single phase material. <laughs> there are many discussions what the catalyst is phase of not known in this metal complex, metal oxide catalyst, but I think this is a single phase material. So I think this is the uh, true catalytic phase for our volume oxidation. Now I can move on to the how to prepare the catalyst. The process itself is quite simple, you can conduct it very easily. You will have uh, this uh, kind of conference, it's easily available in a commercial, you can come as a sulfate, you can mix in, in the water, then you can start with a hydrothermal synthesis at 175 degrees C for 48 hours, for example. And uh, you can get solid in bottles and you can use it out and get so solid, but sometimes you would have some amorphous space, you can see some wrong color on here, so you have to remove it by the uh, washing with the uh, oxalic acid for a while, and then you can uh, get a very nice, well, crystallized solid state material which has the world shades. Then I'd like to show you some uh, uh, crystal uh, data. So this is the same image as I showed you before, and uh, this is a 10 image of the samples. We took a 10 image from distant reactions, and we can observe the uh, distant fractions, electron diffractions, and give us, uh, it tells us that the uh, distance is related with the uh, whole bonds from the, the spacing. If you take a picture at the cross section part from here, like this, not, not this vision, like this directions you will get a very uh, uh, fantastic uh, lattice image like this. From this image, you can deduce the structure uh, uh, as you can see here. This is how uh, you have a pretty same before. And the other one, oh, sorry, I have to say important things. Uh, we got this material uh, when the pH condition is 3.3 okay, before starting the hydrothermal reactions. But if you change pH condition by adding sulfur gas state to be 2.2, then you can get a solid, then you have a different uh, uh, HR image for samples. And from this image, you can use the uh, structure based on the trigonal uh, uh, groups. Group. Then from this structure uh, uh, information, we deduce the, the, the proposed the structure of the contracted the, uh, uh, structure model. Here, uh, I can show. I can explain that a little bit detail. Uh, here in the pentagonal, the, all of the carbon is molecular on one side, and um, there is a pentagonal bipinal unit surrounded by five octahedral molecules, and these units are connected together with an alien octahedrals. And going around, we give them a lot of surface, and we have a well, vacant here. But this vacant has been occupied by molecular or the name. We prefer this. Based on these structure models, we conducted the abridgment analysis and we got a reasonable uh, requirement result. 
using this same uh, methodology for constructing material for trigonal, you again uh, pentagonal units connected together with three vanadium, root of vanadium particular, so forming these units, and then work them together with the vanadium uh, units in there. Then we should come back to the original analysis that we have here. As you can see, that the uh, department is original. So based on two samples analysis, you can say that the this material is from the same. So uh, we can say once again, uh, also rhombic material is constructed with uh, this unit, to stuck it together to form this C, and goes to the C directions to be the three unit material. In this case, the, these three units cooperate together to form C, and then C, uh, soft. Why uh, then? Uh, why this kind of material can form during the hydrothermal temperatures? I studied to measure the Raman spectra of the, uh, the uh, solution before the hydrothermal reactions. We observe very characteristic alarm bound around here. So this is just study materials. Raman spectra stuff study materials, which doesn't coincide with the uh, non-stock uh, bands of the uh, uh, mixed solutions. So we. We worried about what the, what the, what the species forms in, in, in the solutions. But nowadays, there are many information about heterophoric compounds. For instance, Professor Miller in Germany has developed, uh, has synthesized various types of low type heterophoric compounds. Here, as you can see, the, 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 the typical three example, also all of them has the, uh, the uh, pentagonal unit here. These pentagonal units bring together to form both. And I think we prepare this material separately and make the bond spectra to get these similar uh, bonds around 100 to 800. Uh, and then you can, uh, these are correspond, this band corresponding to the object at the time of units. And then, uh, uh, as you already see, uh, the, uh, our mixed solutions also gave these uh, uh, bands. So it's reasonably say that the, uh, the, the first. Uh, uh, like this ball is formed in the body part of the We also measure the UV spectra of the precursor solution and we observe these bands and also this material has give, given the uh, bands which is corresponding to the uh, uh, charge transfer between molecular medium to sigmoidium. So it's also the same. So this kind of information gives me allows to allow me to stack away as the, uh, the precursor, is precursor based on the pentagonal uh, unit form. Then we got this solid. This solid also gave a similar, uh, uh, exactly the same run of bounds that around these three regions. So uh, obviously this material also has the pentagonal uh, units in the solid. So uh, based on this, uh, uh, in this case, uh, this pentagonal, two pentagonal units both come together, but here this is three pentagonal units for the trigonal effects. So once again, I'd like to emphasize that the, uh, this procedure, which I call unit condensation, can be taken place in the preparation of high dimensional solid. So the initial material is something like that, but by choosing or by selecting proper these conditions, which give you uh, uh, some uh, special specific uh, units in solutions, and it's called light or consensus together to form uh, yeah, uh, materials. Then I'm going to move on to the uh, properties of this material that you have got. As you can see, this is the, 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 C, uh, the view of the C directions. You can see some hole, which is the pentagonal units. So both the delimiters also have the same. So we can expect that this all might be four. We can accept small molecules because the size is not so large. Then we conduct this to, 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 to test by these, these phenomena we conduct some experiments. So after the preparation of the sample rock by some synthesis, the some amount of the ammonia molecule, ammonia cations are located inside the external channel. But by heating, the sample at certain temperature, let's say 300 degrees C, in a nitrogen city, or in our air, we can remove the, most of the ammonia to the outside, leaving the pore. There is nothing in there. There is a problem somewhere in there, but we don't know. It's not easy to 
but why I call it this. So anyway, you can get these topics. Then we measure the nitrogen absorption, the outcome absorption, the latent nitrogen temperature, the latent here. We observe, we observe very sharp uh, absorption, very low pressure pressure, uh, little pressure of nitrogen and albums. Based on this absorption time term, we uh, calculate the, uh, the uh, pore size distributions and giving a 0.5 nanometer size pore, which is uniform and there is no other uh, pore size distributions. Here again, I'm no problem with absorption in the same data. So it's proved that the, the material has the uh, about 5 nanometer ohms from pore. Uh, here in this case, the trigonal scale, so the single data, although there is some, uh, some uh, uh, distribution, probably due to the, uh, some uh, the, the, the solar kind of properties. But anyway, then to test by the, uh, the hectometer channel is the pore, we, we added ammonia after the calcination, so ammonia can go into the pore again, yeah, then this we can express more more absorption nitrogen. In fact, we observe the uh, no absorption as of this way in this way. Put the surface of the down, now we can find it's living of grounds, but in the case of the corresponding samples, but to now that's living of grounds. You know, the, this materials can be it would be of course, but uh, you can also introduce antimony in this part or here. Then you get this soft. So of course, then ultimately occupy this empty side. Then you don't expect any absorption. In fact, you don't see, as you can see here. Also, this one, uh, without ultimately, this material is not so stable at high temperature. For instance, if you calcine it in air or nitrogen at 823 Kelvin, you will have a, a different phase. It transforms to tetrahedral phase, where there is, there is where does it have no hexagonal uh, channel at all, then it doesn't show any absorptions of nitrogen. So it's uh, obviously that the hexagonal uh, unit, no, no, hexagonal unit is responsible for, for uh, absorptions of small molecules. We also conduct the room method. We conduct this, this kind of uh, molecules of absorption at room temperature. And in case of the CO2 absorptions, we observe that the solid is very small to this amount of because uh, 0.025 uh, mm, square meter per uh, centimeter per gram. It's a uh, uh, four volumes, uh, which corresponds to the full occupation, full volumes of our uh, hectare pore. The CO2 absorption can go in, methane can go in as well, methane as well, that's the butane can go in. From this data, it gives you uh, the kinetic diameter of pore. It's uh, 0.39 nanometers. So the molecules can lie. I was not. I was very surprised when you see these data. I thought it, you know, this molecule can go in, but it can go in. And uh, this is uh, what I thought of it before. Most surprising thing is that the uh, we, uh, we sometimes we correspond sample in air or in a nitrogen. Oh, sorry, it's going on. Wrong. Um, this is the sample calcine in nitrogen. This is calcine in air. To, to get a, a very good absorption, uh, you have to calcine in air. So if you calcine in nitrogen, you don't see. But if you calcine this sample in, in air again, you have molecular binding, which is like a theoretic material based on molecular and the label. Now I can move on to the uh, uh, question time. I'll move on to the catalytic uh, reactions. Uh, there are many types of uh, molecular vanadium uh, based uh, complex metal oxide, all of which has the uh, similar elemental uh, 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 arrangement, molecular absorption, molecular derivative here. So you can create different arrangements of the C80 prime, like this, like this, like this. And we can convert catalytic properties of both of these uh, typical catalysts for propane applications. It gives nothing. This shows very good activities for propane applications. Uh, this one doesn't do anything. And this one do some activities because it has some internal unit. So from this data, you can obviously 
say that the uh, internal is the unit is responsible for volcano uh, oxidations. This site might create some specific oxygen species down there. Because this one doesn't have it's not a kind of simple mixture because it has a pentagon unit, this is an external unit, but both it has both. But also additionally it has a pentagon units. This is very, very active for uh, alkane oxidation. This is just a typical example for ethane oxidation to ethylene or alkane. It works at 260 degrees C. You know, normally the ethane oxidation, there are many types of solid state oxidation catalysts for ethane oxidation, but normally it works at more than 500 degrees C to give a reasonable conversion of ethane, but it works very at, at low reaction temperature and uh, conversion, for instance, here is 70%. Very high. So uh, the selectivity to ethylene is uh, at the beginning is quite high, but it goes down, and, and then you can get acetic acid. And then these particular conditions you can achieve with 20% E with acetic acid. I like to emphasize how this can is so active. I conducted the uh, 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 the uh, heterogeneous oxidations in uh, in water. The reaction temperature is 160 for 20 hours, it's quite a long time. Just for uh, demonstration, we put uh, uh, air and tank at the same time, and there are some catheters in with water, and you can start a reaction with this temperature. And then you can get, for instance, let's say here, uh, 4.1 grams, <coughs> 5 milliliter water, you can achieve 60.5 oxygen conversions, acetic acid, and ethylene. If there is no water, you can get Ethylene mainly, but if you increase the walk, uh, the, uh, the capture amount, of course, you can achieve higher conversions with similar stability. If you correct the filtrate, I mean, uh, uh, it's, uh, the capture is not dissolved, but even dissolved, the solution doesn't do anything. Any show doesn't show any catalytic performance. So this is really heterogeneous. It works even at 160. So the active options is so much special. It's not a condition for others. Um, this is just one explanation why this catalyst, molybdenum 6 and molybdenum 4 plus is the initial stage, just after the preparation, because the ammonia is located in the channel. But after removing by heating, it's coming out, go out from the supplement that's extracted, the leaving the catalyst, which is active, and just uh, molybdenum 5 plus and molybdenum 5 plus at the same time. Because the bottom remains somewhere in the analysis, it's active. But if you have sign an air, you have the high, highest oxidation state of both elements, so molybdenum 6 plus and molybdenum 5 plus, it is, shows high activity. So it shows some activity. So after living in a catalytic reaction conditions, it goes to this condition. It can be active. So this condition, molybdenum 5 and molybdenum 5 plus situation, well, based on these uh, very simple data, so I can spectrolite uh, the reaction mechanism for you. Uh, first, uh, this is the, the, the AB prime, and the AB prime has to be uh, uh, responsible for the activities based on the many papers. So if you take this part uh, like this, the molecular five and molecular five are located among the tunnel unit, which has which gives the uh, force for even though the uh, the uh, the, uh, the sample calcium in the nitrogen doesn't accept the homologous strongly, but it's some homologous, it, it creates some pore. So homologous can go in. So I think the, uh, uh, also the important thing is the molybdenum 5 and molybdenum 5 versus located together near, near right. So and also the, the uh, this has a bending. This has some, some angular between the molybdenum and the so this auction molecules becomes more electrophilic. I don't think it's like uh, Professor Hanoff's alpha oxidation oxygen. It might be similar because it works very at very low reaction temperature, but it's not easy to say. But uh, 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 at least I have to say this oxygen bounds to molybdenum vanadium at the same time. So there are some electron interactions. It's not isolated. So I shouldn't say O minus O to 2 minus whatever, but it seems to be very electrophilic. The other important thing is that this can create pore around there. So molecules, 
molecules can go in there, then the molecule, some molecule, they all can be created to other the soft molecules and oxygen. Because the acting oxygen can to the uh, ethylene molecules can to closely to the active oxygen. The distance of the molecules and active oxygen is very important. If you think about the uh, biosystems, it works very well and uh, the room temperature because the, there is an active oxygen but it's not too active. But the molecules can access the active oxygen globally. That's why the oxygen that's the most important thing in the, in the, the biosystem. I think that these materials can do similar things. I, I, it's not proved yet, but this is my proposal. So this is the time has been come, so I have to stop and uh, I'd like to say uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for your nice lecture and maybe one or two questions before lunch. Yes, sir. Avatar, a question. Uh, your system is also able to convert propane, am I correct? Yes, it's also propane, correct. Propane, you say, it does not enter the channel, does it enter? Well, uh, no, I don't think so. You see, uh, uh, the molecules go this relation. The terminal method group can be oxidized, not in, in the middle part. Well, anyway, so then we agree with that. that you need the heptagonal channel, which I also say the same thing. But it doesn't have to enter it, it can only come that's right. down. That's right, not, not, not sufficient to well, that's, it, that's the English problem, I don't think. <laughs> well, it's called access to the people. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Now, the only other question I have is uh, just the vanadium and molybdenum systems, are they stable long term, or do you need to add some additional element in order to stay? <coughs> Well, that's a good question. Uh, uh, in my case, you know, in my case, this, uh, this material is just composed by two metals, vanadium and vanadium. Right. This is not so uh, stable for long use. Uh, it has to be stabilized. We need to add some elements, special elements. We agree with that can... also. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And the last question for this progress. <laughs> one, one question from <laughs> Tugas. <two guys. laughs> Half question. Half question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, in, in every right view, uh, micropore is the same negative sign. Sorry? New micropore is the same as active size or different? Micropore. New micropore. <coughs> new, new, I'm sorry. New? Sorry. You have micropore. Yes, right? yes, I did. But is, it, is micropore the same as active size? So, uh, this is my proposal. So, you know, I think I, I like to explain why this cavity is so active at room at low at the low temperature. So I think these four can play an important role to accept the molecules mm -hmm. to meet mm -hmm. this. So that's the I think that this is active time. Oh. Second. Second question. Second question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, may may I ask you? concerning the uh, poor uh, system of your materials. You showed us on one of the previous slides that uh, depending on uh, the atmosphere or condition, reductive or oxidative, mm -hmm. those pores can appear or disappear. But during the redox cycle, uh, during the catalysis, do they transform? Well, yes, that's, that's uh, a very good question. So, uh, I don't have any uh, evidence to answer your question. But, uh, First of all, I have to say that this material never call, uh, you know, after long use, it's, it's, it's not so straight or so as it grows, but just a sort of time lit up, let's say, 10 times or 17 times, doesn't matter. The, the structures remain constant, even after the dogs or the oxidation. So uh, the material, in a reduced state, has a similar arrangement, and oxidized material also has a similar arrangement. The difference is the size. The size is the difference. Right? So, so it's just breathing. Bre breathing, yes. That's why right. breathing. Yeah. Breathing something like that, yes. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.